What's going on guys? Amazon sucks and here is why. Do you ever wonder why it sucks? Why people are talking about it so much? Why people are successful on it if it actually sucks? And I mean, I made a lot of money over the years on Amazon. If I had to start all over again, would I actually do it? It's a reluctantly yes, but it is a lot of work. Let me explain. Now, when I started, um, I, when I finished school, I was basically working at Pizza Pizza, which is a pizza chain down in Canada, and I was working night shifts. I was trying to make money um, and basically pay off my school and everything, the debt that I had, and have a, I had a car, credit card debts that I had, and everything that I had, I wanted to pay off. So I was working night shifts, day shifts, like I was working probably like about 60 hours a week. And that is the struggle that I remember. And I remember stumbling upon Amazon one day and it literally changed my life for the better and for the worse in some ways because that's where my struggle started. That's where, and I didn't know much about business. I had a minor in business, but I didn't know much about business. So I had to get it started somewhere. Right? Now, the first thing that I did is I started taking courses, guys. Like, I mean, a lot of you guys are probably in the say on the same boat right now. You're trying to find information and take different courses that you can actually learn from and build your Amazon business. Now, this is exactly the same boat that I was. Like, I was looking for information, and guys, back then, there was not much information available on YouTube. So I had to find wherever I could. I mean, Amazon itself was one of my main sources of like to learn about Amazon. I remember looking into different sites for courses courses um, I was spending tons of time like I was working nights and then whenever I get time I come home I'll try to watch some videos because I still had to uh, build my business but at the same time I had to make a living right so that's how it all started and uh, part of the reason you guys see a lot of white hair on my head is because of those sleepless nights guys and I thank God I did it but I don't know if I would do it I mean I would still do it but I would change a lot of things that I had done um, now that uh, we're in 2019 so if I had to restart it again I would but I would actually fix a lot of things a lot of mistakes that I made over the years uh, when I was building my Amazon business so starting Amazon was really rough for me like I had to contact suppliers overnight like I mean I'm working at pizza pizza night shifts three o'clock I get off and I'm on the phone with suppliers in China because that's their daytime right like so a lot of this stuff like the technology that we have like it wasn't the same like it was what we know Amazon as it is today like it's so much easier if I if I had the um, flexibility that I have right now I think I would avoid a lot of headaches that I had so I would be on the phone with suppliers in China and I even actually looked for one in Bangladesh um, trying to find different supplies trying to find like different price points and I didn't have a template I didn't know how to contact suppliers I'm just like a young kid trying to build a business right so it was a little bit rough in the beginning for sure one of the big mistakes that I made is that I was under a lot of debt and I started Amazon with $5,000 but I was under a lot of debt and if I would do it again I would try to pay off that debt and actually make the money save the money to start Amazon that's the best way guys you can never want to go in debt to start a business that's actually like a big no-no in business itself in general so if I had to change one thing I would just try to save as much money as possible then get started because the problem with me was that oh my god like uh, I'm missing the boat Amazon is just flying by me and I need to take advantage of it right now now the thing the reality is that Amazon has been growing since it started so it's not going anywhere guys like you'll always always you'll never miss the boat anytime you start is a good time for Amazon like you never have to uh, worry about that so make sure you get your ducks in a row get your money save it don't go in debt like if you have to borrow from your credit cards guys if you have to borrow from the bank in order to get your Amazon FBS business started I would not suggest that because that's just extra stress you don't need I had to uh, the problem was that I was trying to do Amazon and my other job at the same time right you cannot think of Amazon as a sidekick it's actually your livelihood and it's your career so um, it needs the attention your full attention in order to thrive in this market for you to be successful in it you cannot be working another part-time job like you got to think about it you are a full-time job you got to think about it as a business so that's why you need not to have a debt when you go into this you need to make sure that you've saved up the money now the more money you have to invest in this the better your chances the more you'll cut down on the problems that you'll have but you got to be able to 
you know, have the capital in order to invest. And now I know that right now governments have a lot of um, like, uh, have a lot of incentives for people who want to start a business so you can always now look into that I didn't have that option back then I had to like I remember using my credit card like I literally took out five thousand dollars from a credit card with a 24.9 percent interest because uh, as you guys know if you take it out it's like a cash advance and you actually get charged higher interest and it was very hard it was a tough time even though I started it um, I'll talk about my products, uh, my first product in the next video, but um, it was really rough. Like I had to go through a lot of stress to actually uh, make it and to actually like uh, start my business from ground up. The other mistake that I made is I was always looking for quantity over quality. Um, I'm like, you know what? I got to get the biggest bang for my buck. So I started sourcing products uh, from China where um, they sent me they 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 told me that hey this is what it's gonna look like uh, this is high quality as you know pictures can be very deceiving um, and one of the bigger mistakes that I made is I did not order a sample and when I didn't order the sample I trusted the supplier and of course what happened the product did not end up being what it was so when my and when my listing started selling I got a lot of negative reviews guys like people were saying you know this is not as advertised your pictures don't look like what your product is your logo is not on the box and this and that and even though I had explicitly told them that we need to do all this so it has changed over the years and as you know Alibaba has a way of tagging suppliers who are actually good and bad so you always always have to make sure suppliers are good and quality never ever compromise you guys because when once you are tagged as a supplier or as a seller with bad quality guys that's it like your listing is pretty much done nobody's gonna come to it a negative review like that can really hurt it so always always make sure that quality is your top priority and not quantity so the struggle continued like I mean like when I started bringing my product I started working on my listing I did not really do a good job at it even though um, I tried to make it as marketable as possible and I thought I have the best listing possible my pictures were not good like the pictures that I had were not professional um, the listing that I had it was in search engine optimized like things like that that really can eat away from your uh, from uh, your business and actually like uh, set you up for failure and that's why my first product failed like to me like now I still sold a few units uh, but I failed I could have made a lot of money and I'm gonna tell you guys what my first product was in the next video but I could have made a lot more money with it if I actually focused on it if I actually took the time to say you know what let me actually research this properly and let me see if my listing is up to par one of the ways you can do that is actually look at your competitors listings and see how they're doing their work right and again the main problem was is just I didn't invest enough time in it like I would spend two to three hours on it every day but that was it like I didn't treat it like a business or a, I didn't treat it like a career right because I, I was still making money um, with my pizza job so if I have one advice for you guys is to give it the time that it needs nurture it like a baby like any business that you would have because you're gonna fail you're gonna fail if you don't focus on it and that's why Amazon kind of sucks because it is not a passive income let me explain guys one second so what is the definition of passive income passive income is something that you've set up and you're getting the rewards or the profit without having to do much work at all and Amazon is not like that in the beginning guys like it will take you years to actually get to that point it will get to that point although there's no such thing as passive income because you gotta still check your inventory you gotta still make sure your listing is good you gotta still make sure that the hijackers are not hijacking your listing and stuff like that so it's never really passive income uh, but to get to a really comfortable situation with Amazon guys like you gotta put in the work and a lot of gurus promise you 200,000 300,000 products but that's not the first day that is not your first product your first product is going to be the base where you will make um, you'll be lucky if you make like two thousand dollar three thousand dollar profit which means that you're selling about six thousand dollars a month right so that's the kind of reality you're looking at you're not of course there will be an anomaly as it is with every business like you guys see um, this beyond meat thing right how they grew up I believe that they're based out of Los Angeles 
They started a few years ago and all of a sudden they really skyrocketed because of the way the world is going. Now, a lesson to be learned from that is when you're actually trying to sell a product, you got to do your research not only on Amazon, but you also got to see what the world is looking like, what the economic situation of your market that you're selling in is looking like, what the social situation is, um, what the political situation is, right? Like, I mean, one of the biggest political problems that we're running at right now, which is affecting a, a few of my products going to the US, are the tariffs, the new tariffs that are actually like increasing to 25%. And as you know, those kind of duties can really eat through your profit really quickly. So you got to be very careful wherever you're selling around the world that you do your research in that market. And I say, guys, like one, again, the main problem that I had was I did not do enough research. I did not try to figure out everything that's happening in the world, socially, economically, politically. As you guys know, what's happening in the world right now is that Donald Trump is increasing the tariffs on US market. So anything coming from China, if you're bringing in, you're now looking at 25%. Now you gotta check out your product if it uh, qualifies for that tariff. Make sure you're watching out for that so you don't get nicked and you don't accommodate that cost in your business. So um, these are the tiny things I did not look at. Like I was still a young kid, naive, trying to build an, uh, a business and I was really excited about Amazon. And uh, yeah, so I did not think about these things and I want you guys to think about those things because immigration, anything that is happening in the world, right, directly feeds into your market. Those are the people that actually are buying your product. So understand their situation, understand their habits. All these things are very important in you selling in a specific market, right? I didn't have the tools back in the day that I have now. Like, I mean, a lot of stuff has been developed. I would say since 2014 and up, like for Amazon, like we got lots of different product research tools. We have lots of different things that we can actually, um, one of the best things that I do is search engine optimize my listing that I never would have thought about like back in the day, like I didn't do it. And that's why I only sold a few units. People did not see my product and I did not do a good job of putting it out there. Now, again, guys, it goes back to how much time you're gonna spend on your listing. And two, three hours a day is not gonna cut it. And if you're starting out, honestly, um, when I started my second and third product, I was putting 10 hours a day. Now imagine that and you're still trying to do a little bit of side hustle and make some money. I was still working at Pizza Pizza, as I have told you guys. So. Yeah, I mean, the struggles are real. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Uh, I mean, a lot of people want to mention that, hey, you can make quick money with Amazon. You can make five, ten thousand $10,000 a month. Yes, you will get there. But with your first product, not likely. And I'm not going to, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. It's not going to happen. And you can actually make it happen if you invest more money. And if you invest like $10,000, let's say, you can cut down on a lot of things and do things properly. But if you're starting out with like a $1,500, which is uh, even $1,000, you can start on Amazon, no problem, right? Um, chances of making a profitable product right away is slim to none. You really gotta give it time. So you gotta make some money, build it up, build it up, build it up. Maybe by fifth product, you will be making that money. So. Amazon is all about finding profitable products at that specific time. And that's what you need. You need all the tools to tell you that information. Learn from my mistakes, guys. The hard work has been a little bit overwhelming for me over the years. And as you guys can tell with my white hair, the stress and the sleepless nights, but nonetheless, I'm here and uh, I'm enjoying it now. I'm enjoying what I have built and I want to continue building it and get to the seven figure. Like I always talk about, eventually I will get there. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for your time. If you have any specific questions, shoot it in the comments below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell button to get notifications on the next one. I want to share more with you guys. So I want to talk about my first product on the next video. And that's what we're going to talk about and the struggles that I went with that specific product. So you guys can learn and know uh, what to avoid, right? That's it guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Have a wonderful day.